Because I, oh shit, it's not falling in the road. As I hit a tree. What's going on today, guys? Welcome back to the Wasting Robin 586 YouTube channel. Today, we are, it is Saturday, and that means another episode of Hill Climb Time Attack. Where we go up this hill in Forza Horizon 3, which is this hill right here. This one. It's uh, the finish line is at the end of this drift zone. And we just attack it and see what time we get. Um, today, we are in the... 2554 AMG Transport Dynamics M12S Warthog CT CST. Yeah, we're on a Halo Warthog. It will be competing in the competition truck class because it's A class and it really doesn't fit anywhere else. That's that's the answer you're getting from me. Um But yeah, let's oops. Let's uh let's go ahead and do this practice run. Get things shaken down. And here we go. Off the line. Quick shifts. I think I've got the gears tuned right. This thing is a heavy sucker. We didn't even like get that much air off that jump. Oh, nice little slide going on there. Solid. Come on, get out of the corner. Uh, this thing is all-wheel drive, so it's good. it should pull out of the corners really nicely. Oh, if I can get in the corners. Bang gears and bang gears. Come on. Nice. Slide it around. That's solid. Oh, shh. This thing is... Oh, it doesn't like... It doesn't rebound well. Maybe we need to change that in the tune. Heading up to Joe's Corner now. It's called Joe's Corner because Joe usually makes messes up. Joe is, is car gamer 81CO, by the way. He usually messes up on that corner. Maybe this should be Joe's section because he usually messes up in one. One of the three corners. Anyways, doesn't matter. We're headed up the hill. Take a little shortcut there. Take out that tree. Stand on the throttle. Solid. Oh, big jump. Break. Oh, that's a nice slide. Coming up, we're coming close to the finish now. This test uh, test run is, is a pretty good idea of how the car is going to handle. It just gives me an idea of what I need to do and, and how it needs to drive. That's why I really do it in these videos. Because I, oh shit, it's not falling the road as I hit a tree. Um, it's not falling the road, it's to uh, get, get used to the car, really. Because I use a different car every week. And, yeah, you understand. All right, well, let's head back down to the bottom and uh, do another run for actual time this time. All right, we're on the line, ready to go. Here, let's actually let's let's go over stats and tune for you. All right, tune. So we got tire pressure all the way down, gearing at four forty-eight. Um, ride height is dropped. Rebound stiffness. I want to make this a little stiffer. We'll go to five. Five in the. Yeah, we'll go five. Maybe no, we'll go seven. We'll go seven. I like seven. Cause it was it was not stiff enough. It was just bouncing all over. Arrow can't change that brake. 25% of the rear. Differential, I need to lock these. The rear's already locked, and it's 86% uh balance towards the uh back. Alright, well anyways, uh let's look at power and weight. 720 horsepower, 855 foot, foot pounds of torque, 5,071 pounds. 54% of the weight in the front, and it's uh, 8,000 cubic centimeters. That's huge. That's a huge engine. Anyways, you saw the stats. Let's get it going. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Off the line. Bang gears. Come on, this is the one that counts. This will be a record, by the way, because it's the first uh, super stock truck to take the hill. Oh, nice little slide going on there. That was an, oh, shoot, almost went out there. Shift down to third. Nice. Up into fourth. Into fifth. Nice slide around. Here we go. Oh, I'm tired. We're doing good. We're doing good up the hill. Alright, here's where we find out. Yes, the rebound sit has helped so much there. I threw that around. Nice. Got out of there quickly. Yeah, get out of there. Oh, that was good around Joe's corner. 
just grab the e-brake and, and power through it. That's that's what I'm doing with this truck. Um, if you guys are wondering how I got the Warthog, I actually had to buy it because you can either get it by playing Halo 5 or Halo something. Halo Wars 2. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, that's how you get the Warthog. Or you can buy it in the auction house. I bought it in the auction house because I didn't play either of those games. And, um, yeah, and uh, I bought it. It was expensive. So if you don't have the money, don't buy it. But here we come, across the line. Wow, that was fast because, wait. That was way faster than I thought. That record is gonna be hard to chase for A-Class. That is a 139.99. Wow. Um, that is, wow, okay. Um, well, I'm honestly speechless because I didn't expect that to be that quick, but it was, and let's go ahead and go down for run two. All right, here we go. We're down here for run two. Um, that 130, I'm not sure if that's legit or not. I may have started, I don't know, whatever. All right, well, we're going to see if it backs it up. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Off the line. Solid start. Banging the rival meters. Banging gears. And over the jump. I didn't think this thing that was so heavy would go that fast. Suppose if you're pushing like 700 horse. Oh, that was nice. These super stock trucks aren't supposed to be that fast. That's interesting. Nice, that was a nice turn. I'm like still shell shocked from the idea that uh, this thing could go that fast. Come on, slide it around. Think gears up. Oh, that was a good slide going through there. Oh, it's raining. We're going to get a little more grip. Because if you guys didn't know, when it rains, you get more grip in the dirt. You don't actually, it's better for you. You want rain, it makes the uh, track sticky. Unless they like prep it with mag chloride and stuff. But that's a whole other conversation. We're almost at the top here. We've got two more hairpins to go and then pretty much we're done. Slide it around here. Oh, that was a good slide going in there. Shift down to second. This thing is like, it's got massive tires and it can only go to eight glass. This is a fast off-road vehicle. And here we come, across the line. Oh wow, it did a 139.34 there. Holy crap. This thing is fast for a super stock truck. Um, yeah. Wow, a 139.34. That is nuts. I can't even believe that. That's, that's amazing. That record is never going to be touched again for super stock truck. No one is even going to come close to it, probably. But yeah, anyways, that is going to do it for me today, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in tomorrow's video. Oh, shoot, I forgot that. Actually, before I go, here are the Super Stock, super stock, truck, ra what? Super stock truck Rankings on your screen right here, right now. All right, yeah, there's only one truck I know. And uh, here are your top five overall for uh, this week. Or up to this week, I mean. Okay. Now, with that said, that is going to do it for me today, guys. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. It really helps the channel grow. Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in tomorrow's video.